Hi, good morning and welcome to today's devotional. The title for today's devotional is Give Thanks in Worship. Now the main reason to give thanks in, to God in worship is for who He is. He's the Almighty and you know what? He loves us beyond measure. Psalm 100 um, verses 4 and 5 read, Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Go into His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever. And you know, it really is a privilege to, because of Jesus, be able to come before the Lord. Because of Jesus, we have direct access to our Heavenly Father, to our God, who among many things is our creator, our provider. Now has something been provided to you just in time, or it's really God's perfect timing. Um, he's our peace. Have you asked for and received peace in a time of chaos? He's our healer. I know of medically documented miracles He's done in people's lives. He's our fortress, our shield. And there are probably instances we're not even aware of where He's protected us from someone or something. He's our comforter, our refuge, and much, much more. And He's all that to us because He loves us. He loves each and every one of us with a love that no one else can give. We can give thanks to God in worship throughout our day. We have our devotional time, but do you sing a song afterward? In my walk, I learned that before you open the Bible, pray that the Holy Spirit help reveal it to you. That's powerful. And I'll add that a song of worship afterward just feels right. Give thanks in worship. Maybe really getting into worship while we're doing home chores, right? I don't know about you, but in my, ho my home, music and chores kind of go together. We can worship as we sing along to a song playing in the car. I I'm sure we've all done that. We can have our moments of praise and worship throughout the day, and that's powerful and a boost to our faith. But there's something about gathering with the family of God on a Sunday and worshiping with all you have it's so powerful and actually worship we had last Sunday was awesome. I tell you, the presence of God was felt in a mighty way. It was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, Psalm 35, 18 says, I will give you thanks in the great assembly among the throngs or large group of people. So among the throngs, I will praise you. And I don't mean worshiping in public like a Pharisee, right? To draw attention and so everyone can hear, so everyone can hear your beautiful voice, right? No, it's not, it's, it's, but it's to really worship with all your heart and soul. And, and you know what? God knows what kind of, of worship we offer. He knows when we're just going through the motions and, and when we're truly worshiping despite our circumstance or hardship, which is what He really wants from us. If you can worship with all you've got virtually, praise the Lord. Praise, the, that's awesome. But sometimes our pets, when we were, when we were at home, um, sometimes our pets would distract us. So I was so, so grateful to be able to come back and, and when we opened our, our, our doors here at church and have that in-person service where, where there aren't any distractions like that, right? And you can, you can lose yourself in, wor in the worship and truly feel the presence of God. It's just amazing. And like I said, we just had that happen on Sunday and it was awesome, awesome. But giving thanks in worship doesn't only mean in song. We can worship through service, serving others, being an extension of His love and giving Him the glory. We can also give thanks and worship with our tithes and offerings, thanking the Lord for providing us with finances, worshiping Him by being obedient to what the Lord requires to support the church. We can give thanks and worship by living a life of gratitude that is pleasing to Him. Give thanks and worship. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. Our situations and circumstances may change, but He never does. And despite our physical or financial or even emotional standing, He is God and He is always worthy of receiving our thanks in worship. Let's pray. 
Dear God, I thank you for who you are, Lord. I thank you that you you care about us little, you know, we're just, we're nothing. We're nothing. And you care about us. We're so special to you, Lord, and I am so grateful for that. I pray, Lord God, that, that we just grab a hold of that, Lord, and worship you in, in all things, Lord. This whole week we've learned how to be thankful, Lord God. And I pray that, that we remember that we really grab hold of that, Lord. I pray that, that we remember that in those times, Lord, that despite our circumstance, you are who you are and you're worthy of all our praise, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for those who are watching, Lord, and I, I pray that this, this is received by somebody, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you just be with us. Um, this, this is for, today's Friday, Lord God. I pray that you be with us and, and take care of us this weekend, enjoying this, this holiday weekend, Lord God. I pray that you provide whatever is needed um, to those who are watching and uh, whose families are represented by those who are watching, Lord. I pray that you continue to keep us safe, Lord. And I, I pray that, that we just rejoice in you this weekend, especially, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, thank you for joining us today for our devotional. And as a reminder, um, tomorrow, Saturday, we have our cleanup time here at church to, to clean and disinfect um, at 10 a.m. And your help would be greatly appreciated. And, and, and please come. And the more people come, the shorter time it is. And usually we, we knock it out or it's knocked out. Uh, be, uh, I think it's like less than two hours. So the more people even less time, right? Okay, so that, so we have that on Saturday. On Sunday, we have our bilingual service at 10 a.m. And Pastor is starting a new series. It's the Characters of Christmas. So I come, I invite you to come and, and be part of it. We had an awesome worship time this last week. Let's let's invite the presence of the whole of, of the Holy Spirit and, and to be here with us. It was it was just awesome. Just come, come 10 o'clock Sunday.